I'm Quinn Curtis and I am really excited to connect with you today about a subject I'm truly passionate about and that is making space in your life for the things that you really do desire. This concept was first introduced to me when I was reading this awesome book, A Sane Woman's Guide to Raising a Large Family. I am a mother of five young children and we have so much stuff it feels like. Even just like Christmas that just happened, um, if you take each of the five kids, and if they only got five presents each, that's 25 gifts under our tree. That's a lot of gifts, that's a lot of stuff. Plus that doesn't even count what the grandparents give. And so we just decided to scale back this year. So um, it's the same way with all of our stuff. And as we've looked at this, um, I love in this book, she talks about how with a large family, there can be a lot of stuff and how every single piece of furniture or, or item of clothing or whatever it is, takes up space in your house. And with so many people in a house, um, then everything that's in it should be doing an excellent job taking up that square footage or else it shouldn't be in there taking up space. So it really got me thinking about all the other things that are taking space in our house. Um, even just like clothes. I saw that you know, there were clothes in my closet that every time I would be passing them on the hanger when I was looking for something to wear, they would trigger within me a feeling of, you're fat, you're ugly, you look hideous in this, you shouldn't even wear this, you're too fat. And it was really depressing and it would make me think as I'm going through my closet, gosh, I have nothing in here to wear and I have nothing that makes me feel really good. It was really discouraging and I don't like being in that gimme feeling where I just want, want more and more and more. And so I was trying to feel out what would fix this. And so it felt like cleansing out the closets would help. I also noticed with my kids that they would just come down the stairs and they'd be wearing clothes that had holes in them or that looked really, really worn out and all the really cute, fun things that I had gotten for them. Um, they were getting missed and forgotten. They were even getting lost in all of the other stuff that was just worn out hand-me-downs or whatever it might be. It was taking up space in our life and making us feel like we were in a needy position, that we weren't um, worthy of having what we really desired. So it was a fascinating experiment as we spent all day yesterday going through all of this stuff and we cleared it out and I could not believe. We we packed away big boxes of things and I saw like even my closet, it is so simple now. I probably have, you know, I don't know, 10, 12 outfits at the most. Um, and but they're all outfits that I really love and that I feel good in and I've noticed seeing you know just a few things in my closet that I really love versus lots of stuff in my closet that I don't really love I, I opened my closet doors and I this morning and I thought I love, I have so many great options. I have so many nice clothes to wear and I look and feel my best when I'm wearing any of these. So it's easy to pick out what to wear today. It was so, so just a fun thing to feel. And then I saw with my kids, instead of um, you know shuddering or hoping that they would pick something really nice to wear today, that's all they had in their drawers. And so they naturally picked that and it was awesome. So I would invite you, this is a powerful concept because um, well, and for one that I didn't, I was kind of surprised by was that by removing the things in our life that were taking up space that were not what we wanted, they were continually triggering us into lack, into, um, you know, discouragement, frustration about ourselves or where we were at, um, instead of strengthening us. In essence, they were expiring us. They were not inspiring us. And by simply removing them, we automatically felt like we have more. We felt in abundance and we felt like we were so blessed and we have everything that we need. So just to understand that even those, you know, sometimes we hang on to that stuff because we think, well, what if, well, what if, what, what if, you know, and we need, we need all this stuff. And if something happens, we need it there. But in reality, seeing, we really don't need that much to survive. Um, but when we have so much other stuff in the way, it's really hard to see that. And it's really hard to 
um, recognize what we do have and be really grateful. So I'd invite you to take inventory of what you have in your life and the stuff that is taking up space in your life and in your house, in your closets, and get it out and remove the things that aren't strengthening you. And with everything that you look at, as my friend Tiffany Peterson would say, look at is it inspiring you or is it expiring you? And if it's expiring you, even if it's pajamas, let it go. Because you are creating a new amazing year and I want you to have as much space in it for all the things that you desire as you can possibly have. And so um, I hope that this message inspires you and excites you to go through your closet. Um, I'd love to hear comments and hear your experiences with decluttering and simplifying so that you can live truly in abundance, um, which doesn't have to be complicated and doesn't have to be tons of stuff. In fact, I bet in my experience, abundance really isn't tons of stuff. It's simple, it's clean, it's order, it's feeling safe and like you have everything that you need and that you're taken care of. So I invite you to embrace this year of abundance and declutter and simplify and find true freedom from all the stuff. Thanks so much for watching and I'm excited to hear what your experience is.